Okay, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at another ROM. The ROM that we're going to be taking a look at this time is the AOKP ROM for the Nexus 4. Um, let's jump into settings really quickly. Show you, this is running Android 4.2.2. .2. So this is the latest version. The, well, I think it's spilled from, this is the unofficial one. Uh, this is from February 24th. I got that build. There, I think there's an official uh, build out yet that you could get. For an official build, you could get that one. I just want to show you a few settings. Now that we're on back phone, we're just going to show you could get the AO KPM um, stats. Let's go back. Let me go into the main settings. The main difference you're going to see right here is quick links. You got so you got ROM control, themes, and performance control. We're just going to take a look at some of the features you get in. Um, ROM control and some of the features that they've merged into this ROM. So first um, we've got general UI. These are all the different customizations that you can actually make to your phone because um, this ROM has a ton of customizations, much more customizations over than Signage Mod 10.1. You could do a lot more stuff with the, this ROM. This is why this is probably one of my favorite ROMs to use on any phone just because you could customize it the way that you want. So first one is custom boot animation. So if you have a custom boot animation you want to add in, you can set your own custom one or you can make your own one if you know how to do it. Or if you don't like boot animations, you can just disable it altogether. Um, next we got the custom carrier label. So that's when you kind of drag it down. Let's jump into here. You have an OA walker. I put that down there. If you leave it blank, it shows your network. So if you're an OT or T-Mobile, um, that will appear. You could choose your notification background. So you could change the background here. Uh, you got show notification count. So if you have like email and you know how much emails you have, it actually shows you in the notification how many emails you have. Um, vibrate to expand. Status bar, brightness slider, transparency. Enable kilo button, recent app bar, UI modes. So if you wanted like the tablet version, you could actually change it to the tablet version. Let's change it really quickly. So you have the same UI that you would have on a tablet. So if you don't even remember, you can actually go up and it kind of brings up the little notification bar and you can see the home button and the multitasking button. The buttons are a little bit smaller, but if you really like this mode, you can change the UI to whatever you want. I prefer the phone one, or you can actually change it to the tablet one. Uh, you got you could hide the extras. What else we got? Show menu over overflow, 180 degrees rotation. Wake up to charge, show you my. You got all of that um, stuff there. Next one is lock screen, so you can customize the lock screen. You could add quick pin unlock. You could change the text on the lock screen, the color of the text, so you can change it any color you want. Make all of these settings. Quickly scroll through them so you can have a quick look at all the customizations. I'm not going to go through all of them because it'll take uh, a long time. Just to give you a quick idea of all the customizations that you can make with your lock screen. Um, you got power menu. Um, so when you press hold down your power button, then this comes up. You can actually add what you want in there. So if you want to add um, torch or show screenshots, when you tap there, it shows all of that. So you could just tap there to go into torch. Just kind of like a quick shortcut if you want to have that enabled. Uh, next, we want to go into battery. So you could change the battery style. I've got the standard uh, battery icon up there. So if you don't like that or you like the circle mode, which is always pretty good, you can change it to that. And you can have charging animation, so, but they say that you can result in poor experience. So I wouldn't really have that checked. Next you've got clock, you could um, customize the clock. Like I've got mine centered right there in the middle. Um, you could change that if you want, you could change the clock style, you could have it centered to the right, how you, how you would normally see it. But I think it just looks a bit more, you know, nicer in the middle. Um, AM, so if you want AM next to it, regular AM, don't show, day of the week, all these, you can even change the color of the clock if you want to, so if you want it red, you can have it red, um, signal, you can change the style of the signal, so if you don't like the signal bar, you could change it to signal text, it shows you in numbers how much you have. But uh, it's not showing up for some reason right now. So let me just change it back to where it was before. 
Uh, you got the status bar toggles. So these are all the toggles that are when you scroll down all of these toggles you can customize up. You could um put in what ones that you want. So if you wanted the clock one or GPS, uh so you want the swagger, you always have to have that on. Um vibrate, silent. So let's have a look at that. So when you drag it down you have all of these different settings. You could add as much as you need to. Next, so we've got LED and um, that's the notification LED that is right down here so say for example you get an email um, you can actually set it to change green when you have an email down here or if you have a new tweet um, you could change it to blue or if you uh, have a new Facebook notification you could change it to pink or anything you want so what you do is just select your application that you want so let's pick email let's go into applications and it pulls up all the applications that I have installed with an email so when the email comes on we're going to pick say if we want blue so every time I get an email notification it will turn blue and you could actually set as much applications as you want in there and you know customize it up and really customize up what colors you want to show down there so you can you know just by looking at your phone you'll know oh, I've got a new email or I've got a new tweet or anything like that now here we've got sound uh, you could uh, customize all of this stuff a ton of different uh, stuff for the sound vibrations you could do more stuff and I'm not really sure how uh, this works but you can actually learn how to do it and then you have themes so if you um, want different themes that like right now I'm running the Sony Ericsson theme which I'm going to show you in a separate video if you want to know more about that I'm running that theme you could download them off the marketplace and have those themes loaded up on your phone which is pretty cool but I'm going to do a few more videos showing you some different themes that you can have on your Android phone very soon and we have performance so if you're interested in overclocking or knowing what your current um, CPU settings and voltage settings and you know how to toggle and you know uh, use all of that you can you do have those options to do that right now so we're currently running at 384 megahertz um, you can go across and I just changed that, let's deny that so you could go across, you got the voltage settings, you got advanced you got time of state, CPU info all of this information that you uh, want and yep, that's just a quick look at the ROM and I want to show you another cool feature is when you don't have any notifications up there and you drag it down it brings you automatically into your toggles menu as opposed to your normal notification menu because what's the point of pulling it down if you have no, no uh, notification so it just takes you straight into um, uh, this menu right here which is I find it far more convenient especially when you don't have it because there's no point in having it on and yep that's just a quick look at this ROM it runs smooth I haven't had any issues with it it runs fast I'm running um, Franco's kernel as well uh, hold on a second let me see what version I'm running I think I'm running the latest one, I think it's version 90 yeah I'm running version 90 so that's what I'm running right now and I'm loving it I'm going to be doing more more ROM reviews and if you want me to do um, different ROMs um, that you've seen that you want me to review leave that in the comment section down below and I'll try my best to do that and yep that's about it for the video don't forget to leave your comments in the comment section down below give the video a thumbs up and thanks for watching peace